being like, involved in crime, really, I suppose, through the people that I was uh, associating with. You know, um, not the right type of people, you know. Um, I wouldn't say gangsters, but just criminal types. Um, I was involved in stuff like drugs. Um, I'd done a arm robbery, you know. Um, not saying that that's, that's it's fun, but looking back, looking back on it, it seemed like uh, looking at myself now, the way I am now, and looking back at the things I used to do, it doesn't seem like I'm the same person, you know. Maybe, maybe it was for a buzz, but then money as a as a as another side thing because if you've got money you can have all the nice flash clothes and maybe nice cars and jewellery and things like this. Um, you know and I suppose it's going through that thing of all your friends saying, Oh well, I'm not gonna work. I don't wanna work so I'll do this. I don't wanna work so I'll do that. You know, so um, maybe a little bit of peer pressure even. You don't, I suppose, you don't never think about what, what, um, what effect it's going to have on people, what crime is going to have on people at all. Um, I suppose now, in retrospect, I say to myself, well, yeah, I can, even myself being a victim of crime, um, you, you, you go through that mental anguish, that, that mental, is it going to happen to me again, you know? Um, it's loads and loads of different faults. And... What made me stop offending, the last time I was in prison, um, having to see my daughter, my, my, my eldest daughter, on her first birthday, come to the prison to come and see me on her first birthday. And, you know, the first place she walked, the first place I actually saw her walk was in prison you know, on a prison visit, and it weren't nice. It wasn't nice at all, you know, so... Um, seeing that and, and knowing that if I'd have got convicted, you know, um, for the crime that, that I, what I was alleged to have done, I would have spent a long, long time in prison, like, more than five years, you know, and, and knowing that and going through that, I didn't want that. You know, don't, you don't need to get involved in crime. Get yourself a good education, you know, or get yourself the best education that you can. Um, and just really try and look for other ways, other ways to, to do things, to earn money and, you know, stay away from drugs. Um, you know, because there, there, there's no good life in, inside prison. That's all I can say, there's no good life inside prison. You would not enjoy it. You know, um, Yankees think, oh, it's like a holiday camp. I've heard that said many times. Oh, this place is like a holiday camp. But you know what? On a holiday camp, you can come and go when you please. You know, you can do what you please. You can eat, the, eat, eat food and you can eat ice cream. In prison, you don't get that. You know, you're stuck behind these big four walls with, with barbed wire and all that. Not good. You, you, might not see, you might not see it and you might not hear it, but there's guys, there's big men in there crying their eyes out because they can't see their kids, they can't be with their family, can't be with their girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's not a nice place at all. My freedom, my freedom means more to me than, you know, going out and doing those, to me personally. You know, I, 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 like, the out, I like the outside more than I like the inside.